Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update's video this evening. I hope that you guys are doing really fantastic. And so we will be looking at the latest across the Caribbean this afternoon. Something quite interesting. Lots of rainfall for some spas. And we'll also be looking at the latest in terms of what models have to show in terms of seeing something develop next week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so we're going to start out with the Eastern Pacific and here we are taking a look at the 7 day graphical tropical weather outlook and so here we can see that there are 3 disturbances that one highlighted in orange given a higher chance than the other 2 which are given 20% each so that one 60% chance of seeing something develop over there. So let's see what's going to be happening, it's getting pretty active over in the Pacific and the Atlantic should start to eventually get active. However, as as of right now, uh, based on the latest from NHC, no new tropical cyclones are expected during the next seven days. So as of right now, nothing new marked for the Atlantic and it's been quiet for some time since uh, dawn. So let's now go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery, but we're starting out with the coast of Africa. So there are two tropical waves out there and the more, the more recent one could try to get itself together and develop into something. So models have been hinting at this. The Euro, the Icon, they have been consistent about something developing next week. And I also want to show you guys uh, the ensemble members. We'll look at those later in this video. But now we're going to the vicinity of the Caribbean and uh, parts of Northern South America as well. We see lots of thunderstorms developing that daytime heat in similar story for Panama. But uh, it has been a rainy day for some spots, uh, maybe with intermittent showers across some parts of the Windward Islands. But we can see that all of this shower and thunderstorm activity activity is extending to the north as was expected but most northern islands most of the leeward islands have been pretty uh, sunny throughout majority of today so nothing crazy today thankfully but there was some shower and thunderstorm even some heavy rainfall in some spots i saw the comments from you guys abc islands in the clear right now we're not seeing any major activity within the area as we head to uh, the virgin islands nothing much for the area either but we do see some thunderstorms across puerto rico and let us continue toward the west, the Hispaniola, especially for the Dominican Republic. Lots of showers, lots of thunderstorms, and that blob just to the north of Hispaniola. So let's uh, have a closer look at it. And here we can see it. So uh, due to all of that activity, all that moisture induced by the tropical wave, this is what we're seeing. This blob lingering offshore, uh, most of it not really affecting anywhere. But we can see, as I said, those thunderstorms popping up across Hispaniola, likely bringing some very heavy rain rainfall to some spots even for Puerto Rico as well and in the event of heavy rainfall flooding is a possibility so hopefully there hasn't been much of that and hopefully everyone is doing okay as we head to Jamaica some thunderstorms popping up this afternoon overcast skies for some areas but for majority of the island it has been a sunny day similar story as we head to Cuba we see some more activity and also near the Cayman Islands for most of the Bahamas nothing much going on Turks and Caicos Islands nearby that activity nothing crazy uh, uh, going over into Central America, for most areas it has been a pretty sunny day as well, nothing much. But this afternoon those thunderstorms are building across some areas. And so uh, in terms of that activity across the region, uh, that tropical wave, uh, the two tropical waves are going to continue propagating westwards. So more rainfall is likely across different areas across the Eastern Caribbean. And so let's now go ahead and talk about what models have to show. And here we are taking a look at the GFS run. Now, all of these colors we're seeing, uh, these greens, yellows, reds, they represent all of that moisture, that precipitation rate. And so this is as we're going to be heading into Monday, the 21st of August. Not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. Take a look at all that moisture increase across the Caribbean. Now, as we're going to be heading into uh, later into that week, going to Thursday, the 24th of August, heading to the latter part of the month, here we're seeing something pretty interesting that GFS is showing, something developing in the vicinity of the Bahamas, Florida, uh, even Cuba as well, and also over into the Bay of Campeche. It looks as though something wants to form. So GFS showing that we could see something develop in the long term. On the contrary, Euro is expecting that as we head
ahead into next week we will see that tropical wave try to develop as uh, that i mentioned earlier so by the end of the coming new week we might see some action out there across the main development region and the model has been consistent about this the icon model has also been consistent expecting that we will see development and as i mentioned in previous updates that main inhibiting factor is the dry air so once there is a reduction in all that dry air we're going to see that it's going to be a lot more conducive and sometimes these systems can even develop or intensify very quickly and so we definitely have to have our eyes out there because it is going to be getting more and more active as for the ensemble members for euro we can see that uh, for the next 10 days lots of members hopping onto the expectation of seeing something coming from the main development region so that is a pretty good sign that there is certainly a possibility of seeing something not as much members for the gfs but uh, we see lots, a lot going on over in the Eastern Pacific and it is not uncommon to see a lot of activity over there. And so guys, only time will tell what is going to be happening across the Atlantic Basin, but the signs are definitely there pointing toward that more active period beginning very soon. And so again, in terms of that rainfall across the Caribbean, there might be some uh, heavy downpours at times and that can trigger flooding across some spots. And so in terms of the heavy rainfall, uh, if you should encounter any flood in please do not take any unnecessary risks do not attempt to cross flooded roadways uh, or bridges and so i will continue to keep you posted as time goes by and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise